Hey guys, Roberto here in my backyard. I'm actually going to do a product review of the Champion Range and Target uh, Duracell Ongoing Spinner Target. Got this at Walmart. I figured, okay, let me try this out. Uh, very extremely simple to set up. Uh, basically, when it came into the package, it was like this, two piece, and you just feed it through the hole and that's it. Uh, tr it's nice and green, and it definitely will indicate which side to hit, because again, there's the little targets. And it has these two weights up top here, and these three weights down here, so that's how it's gonna keep its balance and rotation. I have a camera set up on the other side, so let me put this all ready to go, and what gun will I use for this? We'll find out in a few moments. All right, guys, I have the target all set up over there. Again, uh, this is not just to really showcase the gun I'm gonna be using, which you guys have already seen before, but more so on the target and how well it's in fact. Now, before I forget too, uh, you also gotta make sure that what you, uh, when you purchase it, you gotta read what type of ammo it could take and not take. Basically, don't use hollow point. Don't use hollow point and uh, it could go anywhere from, let's say, uh, from 50, uh, 17 caliber all the way up to 50 caliber rifles or handguns. So what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my Smith & Wesson M&P 2 Performance Center. The 5 inch barrel ported, love it. And I'll be using uh, Brazzer, uh, Blazers. Uh, ammo So these are my first shots. I'm about maybe Seven yards out give or take. So let's see how this goes All right, that was 17. That was kind of cool to see. Uh, when you see in the video coming up, uh, again, given that the color texturing is green, you'll definitely see your hits. And no problems. I thought I was gonna have a little issue because of that s steel rod. No, nothing at all. It air, air moves smoothly. And again, it'll indicate if you missed, which is great. Um, wow, I really like that up. Well, guess what? One mag down. Another one to go. And plus, it's been a while since I shot this gun, so yeah. Fantastic plus again love this gun. All right, so let me let me go get the target so you can see the end result All right guys, so here is the result Right here You can see the little black marks on both the top. Oh, sorry had it backwards 
That makes, that's better. So again, you can see the results. Uh, again, it flips, it turns. Well, I mean, it just flips. But I'll go back to the triangle always at the bottom because that's where it has the weight. Now, again, I shot this at seven yards out. Ideally, for something like this to help the longevity of it, you want to go a little bit further out. But again, this is just my first time ever shooting it, uh, or using, I should say. And again, I'm definitely going to make sure that when I'm going to go out again and to use this, I'll be further out. Because this will definitely help your coordination for distance shooting for your uh, pistols. Now, who's this designed for? Anybody, if you could find an open space. Again, I'm very fortunate where I live. Uh, I could do this in my backyard. Again, boy, if you could just, but if you decide to purchase it and maybe go to a range and they allow you to use it, hey, that's good for you. But again, uh, this is definitely for somebody who has uh, a lot of land in the backyard and to make sure that it's not going to disturb, obviously, neighbors. And this is, again, you just pitch it down to the ground and you're shooting uh, definitely below eye level. So we gotta make sh keep your mind on that. So this is also maybe gonna be good for individuals who want to use this to uh, sight into a scope on their AR-15s or their red dot even for that matter. So yeah. So again, uh, very much like this. I'll probably, I'll probably tear this one apart later on just because again, I could do this in my backyard. But good quality, good quality product right here. And again, it's uh, very rubbery like. It's not gonna be steel, so again, if you do have neighbors to some extent, uh, it'll help reduce the noise so we won't be hearing the clinging or the plinging of steel. So, all right guys, that's it. Take care, 2A all the way.